For one generation of Americans, the defining event came in the fall of 1957. Americans vividly recall where they were and what they did during key events defining certain generations or eras. Examples include the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the assassination of John F. Kennedy, the explosion of the Space Shuttle Challenger, and, of course, the traumatic terrorist events of 9-11. For one generation of Americans, the defining event came in the fall of 1957. On October 4th, the Soviet Union became the first nation to launch an artificial satellite into space. Leading Soviet rocket engineer Sergei Korolev headed the team that had created the USSR's first intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM and he lobbied the government to allow him and his team to modify the R-7 rocket so that it could launch a small scientific payload into Earth's orbit. The Soviet government approved Korolev's plan in the hopes that they could beat the Americans into space. The space age had officially begun. The satellite created a sort of mild hysteria in the United States, where the public was acutely aware of the Soviet Union's ability to launch ICBMs, outfitted with nuclear warheads, at any target on the planet. The effects of Sputnik's unprecedented mini-revolution on science and technology funding and education in the United States continue to resonate today.